everybody. Welcome back. I'm glad you could make it. Um, if you're new here, my name is Stacy. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so I was in Michael's um, like a week or so ago, maybe, and they have these new smaller kits that I had not seen before, and they're just patterns, right? So they're real small, and I thought, you know what? This is a really cool, uh, cute, small project to do. Um, why not pick it up? So I got, as you can see, the one with flowers. They had them there. Um, I think there was one with, um, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, like camo, um, you know, the green camo color. Um, I think they had, um, a leopard color, you know, pattern and, um, you know, a couple different ones and it wasn't that expensive if I remember correctly um, this doesn't have the price on it and I didn't keep my receipt so I'm not quite sure um, <clears throat> what the price is but I will put um, a link to well I mean you guys can go to michaels.com and check it out but I got this in store I don't know if it's available on the web or not so in any event, I thought, let's unbox it, see what it looks like, right? So this is 11.2 um, inches by 9.2 inches, or, or 28 and a half centimeters by 23 and a half centimeters, okay? Now, the thing that I find interesting is it says on here, multi-surface adhesive sheet on that. The other ones, um, said like full kit or something like that. Um, some of them said the multi-surface, some of them said full kit. So I'm not quite sure if there's a difference, um, but we will see when we open it up. And here it just shows you, you know, kind of how to do it and then the floral design down here. Okay. <clears throat> so let me open this up I have these little these little scissors that came with um came with a uh, what was it a um a wind chime thing that I bought but they don't work very well <laughs> they didn't work for what they were intended for so uh, but I just haven't thrown them away or anything ow I just stabbed my finger that kind of hurt so how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> as we're saying, as I'm going through this. All right, I'm just gonna set this box aside real quick. And open this up. It's got, what is this? It's got a, a thing of sealant. Make Market Diamond Art Sealant. Never used any of this before. It says gently squeeze the bottle and apply a layer of it onto your project using the sponge head and then spread it using the sponge head. Allow to dry for two hours. Clean with soap and water. That's neat. What else does it have in it? It's got this which is a little bottle of glue, which I hope I don't have to glue each one, but we will see. <laughs> we will see. Get this out of here, put this aside. Now this already feels like paper, um, like cardstock, not a canvas. It feels like a cardstock. Um, so we've got in here, um, instructions, English and French, it looks like. It's an adhesive sheet. So yeah, it's not a canvas. It is paper. And this just explains how to do it. Oh, that's neat. 
So it's kind of like a book cover. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to zoom this in real quick. This last square here. After you're done, it says peel off the white back film and carefully apply the adhesive sheet to your project surface. So this is a diamond painting sheet that you can use as like a book cover or something. That's pretty interesting. That makes that now makes more sense when it says a multi-surface um, adhesive sheet. So this is your picture your little guide, which is kind of cool because you could use this for um, cross stitch or something like that if you wanted to save it and use it for something else. It's got a, a color list here and it does have, you know, um, their own codes. Um, it's not DMC, it's their own numbers. 8122, 8119, 8219, 8214, 8222, 8176, and 8163. So eight colors. So we're going to set that up there. We have our um, kit that comes with a pen and a um, guard, squishy eye. See, it's been so long since I've recorded videos. I don't remember what things are called. A little bit of baggies, a tray, and a um, thing of wax in there. Set that aside. And then we've got our drills here. Mm, I will open these. Let's look at these drills real quick. Don't need that bag anymore. So yeah, so we've got our eight colors. So we've got a nice um, two shades of pink. We've got like a, um, what is that? Like a, a pale yellow, um, a regular yellow gold kind of, um, an orange amber color, uh, brownish orange, uh, green, and then blue. <clears throat> so that's your colors. Simple. Now, I don't know if you can, I would assume you cannot fold this back on itself because it is adhesive on both sides. So it's kind of like, can you see this? Here, let me zoom in. So it's kind of like a vinyl. So it's adhesive on this side. <clears throat> and then should be adhesive on this side as well, I would hope, because I don't want to glue each and every one of these. So let's see if there is a sheet on this. Huh. I don't know if there is. I can't imagine gluing every little piece. There's got to be another piece of plastic here. Give me a minute, guys, and let me see if there is a piece of plastic on this front end, which I really hope that there is. There is. Okay. Just couldn't grab it with my finger. So you've got, oh, I let it slide. So you've got your plastic piece here that is pretty sticky, right, for you to put your drills on. And then this whole vinyl sheet, this backing comes off, and it's sticky on that side. So you can use it, like I said, can use it as a um, as a uh, book cover or something to that effect. Um, now these drills are crystal, so I don't think 
you would want to use it as like a sun catcher or something because no light is really going to shine through because they've got the um the what is that that silver back on it so you're not going to want to try and use it as a um sun catcher or anything like that but you can stick it to a book or whatever else it may be that you're interested in and yeah you do not want to re-roll this because i just was trying to flatten it out and got it all jacked up just by doing that so you want to kind of be careful with what you're doing if I can get this oh, yeah you want to definitely be careful with doing this because peeling that back made this one come up We can probably flatten this out, but we can't flatten them both out at the same time, it looks like, unless, yeah, because the front is sticking to this. This is a hot mess, guys. Hot mess. Hot mess. Let's see if I can fix it this way. I might not be able to. Hot mess, guys. Hot mess. So this is not something that you can roll back on itself, <laughs> as I was saying. This is something that you're just going to have to try and, I guess, fix the wrinkles as you diamond paint it, because I've got wrinkles galore on this sucker. Unless it would be easier to do it this way. It might be easier to do it this way. I know I'm being very quiet because I didn't expect this to be this. Um, I didn't expect it to be what it is, if that makes sense. So I am being very quiet, <laughs> trying to figure this out. Like, I don't think I'm going to stick this to anything, to be quite honest with you. Um, I think that I am just gonna do it I don't know maybe I will maybe I'll find a sheet of paper it's definitely not going to be easier to stick it to something and then diamond paint it because you need something that's gonna allow you um, to get out the bubbles if you have bubbles because I have a, a bubble there that I just did trying to fix this I see why they give you diamond glue because now because if you have to constantly touch that sticky then to get the bubbles out of it um, you might wind up having an issue where there is less stick on something. Yeah, see, I've got... I don't have wrinkles 
on the top side. I have wrinkles on, underneath, but you can't really maneuver the top side without maneuvering the back side or vice versa. You kind of have to do them both together. So I have, I have a wrinkle. I know I'm like, was zoomed out, zoomed in that whole time. I have a wrinkle down here that um, might be difficult for me to get out. Cause you kind of have to maneuver the top one and the bottom one at the same time. So if I pull this up, which is not working for me right now. I just want the top plastic piece. I was able to do it with my tweezers earlier, but now it's like a little bit more difficult. Almost had it. Almost had it. The wrinkle is like right here, so I might be able to do it this way. There we go. So see, if I do that, the wrinkle's still there. So in order to take that wrinkle out, I have to peel this front and this side off at the same time this back side and then straight pull it and flatten it that way and then put this on it <clears throat> in order to flatten it out so yeah that is that's a little bit of a hot mess so if you get this um, be aware that that's something that you might have to deal with is getting the whole thing flat but it makes sense now why there's um, why, why there's glue. So yeah, so this is the picture. Like I said, here is your, um, your, what is it called? Legend. I can't speak. There's your legend. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to work this with you guys, but through fast forward, you know, and um, come back and talk about this afterwards. So I hope you guys stick around. If not, skip to the end and, you know, see what my review is about. Okay. So again, this is Make Market and it is a multi-surface adhesive sheet. Um, it doesn't have a name for the picture. It's just flowers. Okay? So I will see you at the end.
it is finished and it looks really I think it looks really cool now it is wavy but if you stick it down on something um, that should come out because um, you know I hope it would flatten out if you stick it onto something that's more solid than just a piece of paper um, but I really like it. I really like the um, the pattern. The colors look nice. I think I think it turned out really well. I will say this. Um, I think that if you're going to use this as a like on a book, something like that, where you're going to be folding it over. Um, I'm thinking that maybe sticking it to the surface before you diamond paint um, will help you to get it flatter because as I'm looking at this now if I go to put it on something and you get like a wrinkle in it um, it might be harder to like smooth it out now I did roller on this to push all these down because the stick um, was not good in some places. It's it, it's it, it's not very sticky. I did not seal it yet with the with this. Um, I probably am going to seal it, but I think what I I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it on a book or if I'm going to just you know put it on a stretched canvas that's already like a frame um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do but like I said I think that if you're going to stick this on something I'm thinking that um, sticking it sticking it to something first might be better trying to see if like how the sun comes through yeah so like you don't see it it's not like a sun catcher you know because the crystals have a silver backing but in any event um I really enjoy this I, I think the pattern's really cool um the the there wasn't any real trash in the drills I did have you know trouble just because I am not a great diamond painter <laughs> but
but that's just me. I really like it though. Um, again, they had different patterns and, um, the only thing that I would say, like, you know, and I'll reiterate again is I think that if you're going to stick it onto something, you might want to stick it where you want it first. Um, maybe even, you know, like cut it and like maybe lose a line or two in order to get it where you want it to be or whatever you want it to be on. Maybe do all of that first and then diamond paint because I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to put on to something if you do it that way. Um, but overall, and enjoying, uh, I, I enjoyed this. I, I feel like it's good, a good canvas, so to speak, you know, piece of paper. I'm actually going to um, grab my... I'm, I want to see if you can get this on the website because I had said um, earlier um, that I wasn't sure if you could buy this on the website or not. Um, so let me look real quick. Did I spell that right? I think I spelled that right. Okay, and I want to search for um, uh, make more okay. diamond painting. Let's see if it's on here. Oh, ads. I don't like ads that pop up. They have coasters and stuff on the website, bookmarks. Yes, they do actually have it on the website. So um, it's called a Floral Diamond Art Kit by Make Market. Um, and it, it was 10 bucks. It's 10 bucks on the website. Um, so that's good. $10 for this, right? That's a pretty good deal. I think it's nice. It's not that big. Um, you could use it, like I said, on a book, a journal cover, or something like that. Would be kind of cool. Um, you could even, like, uh, you know, cut it in sections and make little coasters, like a like a pattern coaster or something out of it. There's, I, I think, I think there's a lot of things that you could do with this. So again, um, I'll put the link for this for the website um, on uh, in the description box below. Um, but I like it, and they have different patterns with this, and and um, different things that you can do with this. And I think uh, I think overall it's pretty good, you know. Um, so let me show you. I can show you the box again. So that's what the box looks like small um 11.2 inches by 9.2 inches you know um i think it i think it looks good <laughs> a lot of ums in that one which is normal for me <laughs> uh i i worked I, I did this over a couple of days and so i worked this morning um and i'm a little a little at a loss for words just because you know had a lot of a lot of stuff going on today but overall I think it's really good I think that you know if this is you know you like crystals um, you want something that is a good amount of money um, a good price I should say and something that's versatile um, I think this is a good way to go you know do it for your kids for their books or something like that whatever you want to do but I really like it I think it turned out really well all the stuff in it I I eventually had switched to the wax that they put in here with it and um, because the putty you know crystals make your putty super dirty and you waste a lot of putty so I was like you know I'm not gonna do that anymore 
So I used their, their wax and it worked out fine. So I do think the tools that they give you are good enough. I'll zoom in, do a real quick um, look at it. Like I said, I think it turned out really well. I'm trying to get the glare off of it. That's why I'm turning it in, it in weird directions. I like it. I think it looks good. And I hope that you guys liked it too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. You know, do all the things. Uh, and yeah, thanks for joining me. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.